<coughs> Methane is a potent greenhouse gas. It's more potent than CO2 at trapping heat in the atmosphere. How do we mitigate the climate impacts of cattle production? And then when we come up with solutions, we need to make sure it's, it's with that mindset of how do we actually make sure our solution doesn't just sit in a lab, right, doesn't just sit in a controlled environment, but could actually make an impact on reducing methane emissions from the cattle industry. Based on all evidence, people are probably going to continue to eat beef, right? And it, is, it has a lot of benefits from a nutrition standpoint, etc. But within that framework of reality, it's like, okay, you know, this is the reality of American agriculture. We have all these different components. Let's get to work on doing what we can to reduce emissions. Agnex was developed to solve the most wicked challenges in partnership with the supply chain. And because I lived the supply chain, I have a unique ability to identify those challenges along with our supply chain partners. But basically what happens with the green feed machine is an animal will come up. While they're there, the air is being collected up through this tube. And based on that and the airflow rate, we can calculate an emission rate every time the animal visits to the machine. Hopefully folks feel rest assured that there are people actually working on this to make sure whether we're talking about beef or any other aspect of the food on your plate, we're trying to make sure that whatever that mix is on your plate, whatever your food choices are, that it's hopefully more sustainable as we keep going into the future. Every food, not just every food, everything we do has an impact, an environmental impact on the planet. And um, we have all, got to reduce that. We've got to reduce it in every form of food production that we have. We've got to reduce it in everything we do as humans on this planet.